Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and which right now we need to talk about this disloyalty as it's spreading. Once again, the Central Planning Committee has heard of spreading uncertainty in the 22nd Moto Rivals and KVD today. In this instance, the gods have been found organizing plans to steal and hold supplies before they were to flee to those anarchic hovels to the west. They've been short already, of course, though their plans were extensive and seemed too ambitious for three guards. The security advisor proposed an investigation to be opened into the loyalty of the NKVD with aims to root out disloyal elements before they could poison the entire organization. Another advisor simply stated that the NKVD could handle, them, or handle this themselves, saving the Central Planning Committee the effort. This will harm the loyalty to Lysenko. A thorough investigation. Armaments acquisitions. What should we do next? Readiness, readiness, drill. Let's see how we do some form training. Encryption document 2B D. Five personnel of level 2C and above. Comrade Lysenko has assessed the current combat capabilities of our security forces and found them lacking. Comrade Lysenko and the advisory security committee have noted that the problem lies in the homogeneous training doctrine of the 22nd Motor Rifle Division, NKVD. Comrade Lysenko has identified the solution to this issue and decreed the acquisition of foreign training methods, estimating that the introduction of conflict doctrine methods will inevitably reveal the strongest methods through the Testing, encryption, document, end. Armament acquisition, communique 790.c. The current lack of small arms has led us to begin finding alternative means of acquiring weapons. Neighboring warlords produce small arms in mass, and diplomats' office, a subsection of the Committee of State, will send envoys to neighboring warlords in search of arms to purchase. The defense of the state is of the highest priority. Communique ends now. Cool. And of course, we have test subjects, which we don't have any more right now. We're going to lose some more stuff. Oh, we can prepare against the Euroleague, but no, we're okay. We have 88% army readiness and 2% army drilling, which is not bad. Um, increase more army drilling, which is not bad. We need, do need more army drilling so we can get up to there. But that's why we're doing a foreign training. Because I don't want to spend too much more army XP, political power to get all that type of stuff. So we need more guns right now, huh? Oh, we really don't have that many. Do we have quite a bit of artillery, though. That is quite nice to see. And we have so much artillery... Oh, yeah, we have no anti-tank as well, which is pretty bad. The loyalty investigation, though. The investigation, investigation was quick and with good reason. It seems as though the disloyalty is present in almost every member of the NKVD. All had some treacherous plan of Comrade Lysenko's work or how our society was organized. While we cannot purge the entire organization yet, we must show authority to make an example of some within the NKVD. Persecuting innocent men is not unfamiliar to the NKVD, so they will understand. The only question remains is which group will target. Old Guard? Give the new blood a trial by fire. Well, the government prevails, well, who cares about them? That's some foreign guard shot. Issue a statement quitting the guard. Uh, the old guards need to be purged. Uh, five, five. If we have to spend some political power for this, so be it. I don't mind spending some army XP then as well. Ah, uh, coup in Brazil. Persecute army officers? So well, let's wait for that one. Foreign training! Based on the recent deliberations of the Committee for Optimal Attach uh, Specimen Collection, Authorized personnel see meeting minutes and attachments documents 1 and 2A. Military units are required to familiarize themselves with new tactics developed from observation of successful foreign parties. Unit commanders should commit the new operational doctrine, see attached documents 2B3-6, to memory, and confirm the readiness for rapid institution by all pertinent military units. Unit commanders should avoid sharing unnecessary details with low-rank officers and rank-file rank and file soldiers. See attached document 7 for guidelines on limiting extraneous communications. Furthermore, all receiving personnel are reminded once more that unauthorized queries into the organ origins of strategic and tactical plans is a violation of Military Code 8C, and shall be punished using all appropriate measures. Listen closely, we may have to use this against them. Limited force integration. Uh, sure, why not? Community key 23.d. Uh, Oscar Delvanga's bandit group, here on referred to as Delvanga Brigade, has been reported to completely lack any form of military training and discipline, being little more than a roving band of unintelligent thugs. Providing medical aid to wounded operatives is also a serious problem for the bandits. Comrade Lysenko has ordered we assist the bandit group in combating Euro League expansion by dispatching NKVD training and combat personnel to aid the Delvanga Brigade in military operations and training. NKVD combat medics will provide medical support to wounded bandits. See supplementary info on page 4. Increasing the combat capabilities of the Delvanga Brigade is a high priority as they are essential in disrupting the Euro League's operations and limiting the expansion of armed Community 23.d, over. More planning is good for us? Absolutely. Yeah, we need more guns, man. Drilling. I don't want to increase the disloyalty that much more. I really don't. Um, but it just seems like we, we're we going to have to. 34% is not really good. Do a little bit more. 30% 30, 30 basically not bad. And... Cool. Armaments. 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 Still only three divisions, which sucks because we just can't make anti-tank. I hate it. I hate that we can't make anti-tank. We could just get militias, but militias are just god-awful and 
That would be a waste of manpower and resources. Or just resources in general. That's a little bit ahead of time. Get a little bit more defense work, boys. Training on the border is not bad, but... I just need two more. That's all we need. Two more. Two more, man. 75 more political power? Yeah, lower. Might as well. Might as well, right? Might as well. Cool. Overall, yeah, but... We're good on artillery. We're okay-ish on infantry equipment. Even motorized is not great. But it'll have to suffice for what it is. Armament acquisitions. Limited force integration. Ooh, anything else here? Bribe soldiers? Yes. Go and do that one. That's actually really good for us. And... Any more drilling we can acquire? Yeah, it's 15. Wow, weaponry drills. Communique12.d. As this communique is being written, troop training regimens put the soldier in conditions and situations they will rarely encounter on the field. See Common War Situations Almanac for more information. New proposed training systems will employ the soldiers in different landscapes like fields and mountain areas, while confronting soldiers with more adequate equipment and weapons. Subjects may be used as targets. Refer to list 62 section 7 for disposable subjects. Live ammo should always be used to ensure maximum drill efficiency. Communique 12.d. Over. Very nice. We're super close to getting the army ready. Ready, 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 ready. Um, I like the manpower. We're training on the border. Uh, we need four more, though. Increases army drilling by a little bit more. Uh, if we don't have to, I don't want to. No, that's not bad. 10% is pretty good. We're at 0%, though. Uh, if we do this, we do it twice. But we're going to get army drilling anyway, so we're going to get more... Um, this loyalty, but we can always lower that down with political power as well. Even though industrial equipment is looking pretty darn good. Six a month is pretty nice. That's pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. I just wish we could raid more, but But a treaty with the bandits. Community key one twenty four. Pursuant to research objectives. High Command has adjusted orders uh, and standards for appropriate conduct for units stationed on research area borders with the so-called Dovanga Brigade. See Tatch Document 1A for map of relevant such stations. Units are instructed to withdraw to newly constructed fort fortified points marked on uh, Tatch Document 1B and to switch from shoot on site stance to maximal readiness stance should neighboring units be supported. See Tatch Document 2 for stance protocols. A member of the High Command will be traveling through this area within seven days to establish a diplomatic mission in this territory, and units are instructed to render all necessary assistance for the completion of the mission. Likewise, an envoy from the Dovanga Brigade is likely to request border access within the same amount of time. Units are instructed to make notes on the individual's appearance and character, and confirm that they are unarmed before allowing them to proceed. Finally, border units should be aware that this development by no means reduces the importance of specimen collection should specimens attempt to use this alteration in necessary measures, or in military positions to escape collection. Units take all necessary measures, including cooperation with the Dovanga Brigade to ensure collection. Let's hope this will help redirect their ire. So now we should get five more army XP. Our soldiers shall be drilled day not to ensure maximum offensive efficiency. And when we get 15 more army drill, then we can increase this by a mere six. And it increases disloyalty a little bit, but that's okay. And 0.5% is not bad. It's actually really nice. Advisatory methods? Well, well, we went a little overboard with the drilling, but oh well. What if we were to do this one? Fortification building. Community key 9.b. From Comrade Lysenko's office has published the plans for the first fortifications to be built in preparation for any assault on Comrade Lysenko's HQ. The BOU has been granted temporary access to level 2D documents for the duration of these constructions. Community key over. And there goes good old tricky, tricky dick. Um, anything else here? You're like, nope. Uh, a couple comments too. Someone says, well, I play Red Flood, Keller Fiume. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe eventually. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Someone says, keep Lysenko and Dr. Daddy. Yeah, keep the daddy here. We like daddy. Dr. Daddy. <sighs> 75. It's still not bad. And weapon drills. Just like a little sluggish in this, 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 uh, for this uh, video, maybe? Just in terms of like letting the game just go, 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 go. But that's alright. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Ah, land attack is so good yet. So good. Fortress con construction. Actually, what do we have here? Well... We're at 100%, my friends. We are maxed out. And now we can lower this if we really need to. It doesn't really matter at this point, hopefully. Um, stack the bureaucracy. 4% still not bad. So what happens at 100%? Um, we could raid. Ooh, we could raid against Octobe. Maybe. Subjects, we still only have like 179. And insanity is currently at 46%. That's better than I thought it would be. Okay. Not bad. 
advisory, advisory methods. Community Key 28. Armed forces hailing from nations outside of the former Soviet Union, see map to N.4 for geopolitical situation as of November 1963, are significantly more organized and well-trained than those available to the Rome states and warlords currently active east of the Urals. Predictably, such armed forces tend to be significantly more efficient as a result. High Command has managed to organize the recruitment of former military officers now turned mercenary from the nations of China, India, Turkey, and Iran. With the goal of further increasing the training standards for soldiers under the command of the 22nd Motor Rifle Division of the NKVD. Community key over. New perspectives on warfare from foreign mercenaries. Advisor, advisory methods. Increase more army drill. Which is going to be kind of a waste for us, but... Alas. We are too efficient with what we're trying to do here. Better supply grace? Cool, why not? Why not? Why don't you just buy anti-tank? Where's the we need him? Or just raided from these guys, but hey, whatever. Fortress Construction, Community Key, 45.E. Current fortification systems, refer to Map 32 and relative addenda, for details on current fortifications and defensive systems, are obsolescent and would be inadequate in the event of sudden and strong enemy offenses. NKVD Command and Director Lysenko set forth a plan of fortification overhauling and construction. Contact Office for Def of Defense for supplementary info, as well as page 3 of attachment provided. New bunkers, casemates, trenches, pillboxes, machine gun emplacements, razor wire fences, minefields, watchtowers, and arsenals will be built in strategic locations detailed in Map 36. See attachments. All subjects in List 102 see attachments may be coerced into the construction project or an effort. Community Key 45.E over. As much as fun as that'd be to attack them. We're not... Wait. Wait. We're at 103% now. Is that legal? So what does this do? Like, what's... We have average sanity, mad scientist, supply efficiency. What does this do for us? Low influence. Oh. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's really going to give us anything, but... Uh, you never know. Advisory methods. Community key 51.8. A. Yesterday, six travelers entered Magnitogorsk. After introducing themselves using the only names travelers, they entered bathroom facilities and stayed there for an approximately two hours, twelve minutes, and three seconds. Comrade Lysenko greeted these travelers with a large amount of food. Contact. Oh, look at that. Uh, contact the catering department for supplementary information. Then Comrade Lysenko asked if they would serve as advisors to the armed forces, offering them a large amount of subjects. All of them nodded in unison. No food given to them was eaten. Though blow was found in their sleeping quarters afterwards. After sleeping for approximately one hour, fifteen minutes, and forty-five seconds, the travelers began training troops, introducing new tactics that our high command is not conceived of. These travelers will serve as great defenders of the state. Community fifty-one dot a over. Corruption in the army. Oh boy. A report has been filed today. Today, four officers from the NKVD committee uh, committed a breach of protocol and demanded to speak with Comrade Lysenko without scheduling a meeting before him. Lysenko was with his guards, planning his daily agenda when the officers approached him. He invited the officers into his office. Upon entering, the officers um, began loudly lecturing Lysenko for taking the risk of bringing foreign military advisors into Magnitogorsk. They argued that their new advisors would corrupt the army and completely remove all from a Soviet tradition from the command structure. They continued to lecture Lysenko until they were ordered to leave so he may resume his scheduled work. The officers left as ordered, but have since then been spreading rumors and dissent among fellow officers, claiming Lysenko is leading Magn Magnitogorsk down a dangerous path. They're never those men in defensive preparations. We'll be fine, man. We'll be fine. Alanda, huh? Community Key 49.A. A new training program announced by the High Command will introduce spontaneous drills as well as other simulated situations that occur with no warning. Let's increase troop versatility and make sure that troopers are ready for any situation. Refer to page 4 for supplementary information. Drills are to begin as soon as possible. Community Key 49.A over. Ready the guns, arm the artillery, start the engines, defend our land. We need more defense. Oh, thank you. Now, we can't do this yet because we need more guns, but whatever. Yeah, our army drilling's not bad. Um, raiding and looting? Eh, just real equipment. No one wants to raid us, though. No one loves us. And we love these guys, but they don't want to love us. It breaks our hearts. It breaks it so much. Not bad. It's still getting worse poverty. I wish we could do something better for poverty, but whatever. Research facilities need some help, too. We have a lot of army XP, not gonna lie. That's a lot. When we have to, I will just poop these guys out if we have to. Look at that lag. Oh my goodness. She's a lagger. Oh, they demand double from the Dovanga Brigade, huh? I see what game they're playing now. 
Not that General Dovong has apparently been launching a new raid of, of late, striking a mighty blow against one of his enemies. We really don't care, which, of course, which one. Yet, as a result, he has slave pens full of our captors, and as per our agreements, is ready to send them over to us. Ooh, yes, yes. But being the swan that he is, he claimed that the losses they took in the latest raids demand more than previously agreed upon amount, having the gold to demand double. Handing over more and more technology isn't a big deal in and of itself. It is more the principle that these thugs think they can bully us into doing whatever they want. Every time we give Dolvanga an inch, she takes a mile, but on the flip side. The more equipment we give them, the more eager they'll be able to do their little raids and even greater attacks on Orenburg in the League. The more fighting they do, the more of them they die as well as joint, our joint enemies. How should respond? You can have double, son, for what you're doing. We're going glad to give you double. Actually, so how many... Sanity is 40%. Oh, we're just we're not getting subjects. What the heck? I was promised subjects. Let them come. By decree of Community 96, all combat teams are to report to Euro Orenburg borders and begin immediate fortification. Combat teams founded to be in violating proper terms of mobilization listed in Community 34 to be considered in violation of Section 3.A and subject to the proper penalization. Failure to comply with construction quotas will lead to immediate termination with prejudice. Shipping manifest of construction to supply included below 300 kilograms of aggregate, 80 waters of liters of water, 60 kilograms of cement. 30 shovels, 2,524 2, small arms, 81 subjects, male guards, 540 subjects, male primary use is for assistance in construction of the fortifications. Personal note, I will let the officers choose the location of these fortifications at their own discretion. However, I will not tolerate failure. Standard pillbox dimensions are to be 5-3-3-5-5-3 meters. Give me the key over. Can't even make anti-tank, but I guess we'll get some better stuff. Can we actually raid these guys? These guys are probably not going to be weak. Hello. Wait, why is my game glitched? Oh, crap. Oh, crap, it's glitched. Uh. Is it still glitched? It is laggy. It's all heck. Holy crap. What is wrong with this? Oh, my goodness. My apologies. I'm clicking all sorts of different buttons here. Hey, now, now we're not glitched. Hopefully not. I, I would like to do a raid, but it's Omsk. So, no. <laughs> Let them come. And cry havoc. Community key 84.f from Let's Inco's office. New proposal for military planning A.10. New proposed training programs. See attached information for a current list of training programs. Formerly currently used in Magnitogorsk and the wider USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics of the, or Soviet Union, would encourage a soldier to use new guerrilla tactics. See attached report on previous guerrilla fighting in South Africa between the United States of America and the Boer German colonial forces, as well as guerrilla warfare handbook and compendium against enemies and secessionist forces. Issuing new camouflage kits, programs, and uniforms. See list of acceptable uniforms in the D3 archive section, as well as training and fear tactics to be used against enemy forces. Community key 84.f over. I apologize for talking so fast. It's just like. I feel like whenever you read that, you just you just read it fast. You just read fast, fast, fast. You do fast. You get things done fast. So, yeah, hundred percent is pretty good. And we like no disloyalty. Also, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, we have enough already. We got enough guns. Not really. We need more. I want more factories. <laughs> please, please, please. Come Robo's looking pretty darn good. Who's leading? Rurik? Big ol' Rurik, daddy. Oh, look at Slovak. Baratia's probably gonna die. I need to place Austin still. Yeah, that's true. I need to place Austin. Central Europe. Hey, Otto Heinrich Dreschler. Let's slip the hounds of war. Comrade Love Sengles order the Community Key 96 to be nullified and replaced with Community Key 102. Community Key follows. Combat teams are to be placed on standby and wait contact with hostile units. All construction is to be halted and idle subjects are being conveyed back to the Black Mountain for further experimentation. Surveillance teams have estimated a force of from a minimum of 5,000 to a maximum of 25,000 hostiles. Combat teams under no circumstances are allowed to leave their posts. If any unit is found to have violated this order, a small regiment will be ex executed. Uh, will execute a section 4 chapter 8 of NKVD disciplinary protocol the 22nd division is ordered for mobilization or to mobilize any remaining reserves and wait for further instructions no enemy must reach the black mountain community key ends defensive positions upgrades the current defense position uh, system protecting the black mountain is of course lacking the trenches have only been ex excavated, not prepared properly without lookout slits and wooden floors there are not enough machine gun nests no barbed wire the mines are not only in the back entrance of the mountains uh, only there, and the current nest needs new cover for the walls. Overall, our defenses are still lacking, and there needs to be a redoubling of the construction effort for success to be had in the defense of the facility. Work will be done now, and hopefully improvements and reconstruction can be complete by the next year. Interesting. Oh, crap. No. What? What? Huh? Why did that happen? Did 
Dream falters and bones loss again. What else is new? Well, we're back at 100%, so. Don't lie to me, game. Don't you dare lie. But we gotta cry havoc, my friends. Cry havoc like so that the dogs of war. So, we're gonna target Orenburg or we're gonna target the Urals? I think what we wanna do. Orenburg is all the way over there. We wanna do the Urals, probably. As much as fun as targeting Orenburg would be and demand or Orenburgian tribute. Demand Uralian tribute, definitely. The carrot and the stick. Our southern neighbors lack tactics. This must be exploited. Uh, doing a break. Oh. Yes. Eventually. Target the Urals. I'm pretty sure we gotta go that way. I wanna go that way for sure. Insanity, raiding, looting, booties. Yes. Alright, Vyatka. Very good, very good, very good. Um. Will we go to war with these guys eventually? Ah, oh, Ben is here, but target the Euro, screw it. Give me the key 102 addendum A. Combat teams are being concentrated against the forces of the Euro League. The Euro Guard are estimated to pose a significantly greater threat than the communal units due to their extensive combat experience and advanced training. Units stationed along this front are received priority for resupply and reinforcement over the units that will be engaging forces from Orenburg in addition. The unusually high stamina and endurance often displayed by members of the Euro Guard make them priority targets for live capture. As such, acquisition teams will be exclusively assigned to the League. Front, until a significant, sufficient number of live specimens have been obtained for testing. End. Addendum. And we could lower our drilling if we wanted to. I definitely want to do this one, though. Uh, I just gotta wait for more guns first. Yeah, they've definitely gotten a lot stronger. But then again, we've got a lot more defense here. Like, our entrenchment. So we have plus two. Uh, nothing there special. Uh, more defense and more defense on core territory. That's 35% more defense. That's th four, three and a half more max entrenchment. Uh, and then even more defense after that one. So, even though we lost some defense too, but whatever. whatever. Anything else here? No. General preparation. Oh. To our west lies two self styled nations that have committed treason against the CCCP. And the Euros are the escaped prisoners of Vorkuta, under the Latvian false prophet. And the plains exist of squabbling communes of Orenburg, a supposed nation with none of the qualities of one. They will now be put under the authority of the Black Mountain once and for all. Target Orenburg. Target these guys. Well, we shall see, my friends, whether we can do well or not. The carrot and the stick. Community key 107.e. As. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. As this community key is being written, the Dovanga Brigade, alternate designation Dovanga's Bandits, see the naming and etymology of the rebellious Soviet administrative entities currently attempting to unlawfully secede from the USSR. <clears throat> Pose a great threat to the security of Magnitogorsk. See a list of subdivisions of the USSR, as well as the overall security of Orenburg Oblast as a cohesive unit. Comrade Lysenko has personally conceded the Plan A.9, or Carrot and the Stick. See list of military proposals in the B7 unit archives. Plan A.9, Carrot and Stick, would issue a number of carrots, or units, <laughs> equipped with loadout and combat uniform C89-2B, see attachment page 1-5, to five, for the list of units, battalions, and equipment to be issued to the Magno Magnitogorsk frontier, near the Dobanga Brigade Zone of the actual control. Unit battalions would be instructed to fraternize, fraternize and familiarize with members of the Dobanga's Brigade. This opportunity of fraternization will then be exploited and expanded to espionage operations. See history information on espionage and techniques in the handbook. Unit members will be instructed to gather strategic information on command structure weaknesses in the brigade. See rebellious subdivision command structures on page 9. After gathering information, they would return to base and transmit info. See further information in the attachments provided. Community key 107.e. Over. Excuse me, game. Why are you so laggy sometimes that you cannot just press enter? Nah. Scavenge? Siberian Blackweed? Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. What? Why are we at 97? Hmm. Well, then. What the heck? Wait, so they went and already killed them each other off. Uh, this is probably going to go extremely badly. Are they allied? If they are, then we got, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna reset this. Yeah, that sucks. So, we'll try to go to war with them, but because of that, let's go back in time and see what's actually gonna really happen. Alright, everyone, so right now we've capitulated the Euro League. Actually, because they went to war, like, the, no one was up here. We took Beloretsk, and then we just took, well, I didn't mean to get to Sebae, and then we just capitulated them, as you can see on the screen. But we're still at war with Orenburg, so, and also, like this, this auto, this auto completed, so, 
If you're worried about that, please go right ahead, I guess. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it, it just kind of happened. So, yeah. Oh, 28%. That's not good. Uh, Reading and looting, I guess we keep that one open. But, yeah, overall, like, go there. Immediately go there. Good. Cut these guys off. You know what? Force the attack. I, we need these divisions dead right now. Oh, my God. Please just get there. Come on. Wow, we like no, we have no war support. Stuff like that. Wow. Uh, cool, that's fine. Good. Oh, what the heck? How do we not get there in time? Are you kidding me, bro? Get in there. Come on. Battle Barcelona. You follow up. You kill them all off. I'm very surprised that we actually don't need, like, anyone else. Go straight for Orenburg. It's fine. Get in the stick. Nice. Um, other than that, we can't really do anything yet, so this is very weird. All right, well we got Orenburg. Uh, I need you to go down here, here to here, so we can cut these guys off and kill them off. So, yeah. Now that we can core this stuff too. You know, it really wasn't my intention to kill these guys off too. Apparently, we, uh, we're losing probably because we can't pierce them. No, they're kind of entrenched as well. That kind of sucks. But that's okay. They'll be gone soon. Oh, there you go. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Job well done. This has actually been a lot easier than I thought it would be. Mm, sure. We should have done research facilities, but oh well. Too late. Mm, no, we're pretty good. No, we're doing pretty, good, pretty darn well on some stuff here. Let's go off and help him out. Why not? Go and take Alexivka. I have a lot of political power. Oops. Bro, I told you to go all out there. Why are you disobeying me? Alright, well, we got. Wait, what? Uh, acquire or or Burgian subjects. Community key fifty one dot id. Subject material extraction protocol D. Troopers will extract subjects from the peasant settlements of Orenburg. Located in the rebellious Orenburg Oblast. See subject extraction handbook for further information in the attachment page of the Orenburg Oblast on page seven. Community key fifty two dot id over. Excuse me, we literally capitulated you. So I'll be. So what the heck? Uh. Okay, so here's the thing. I actually tabbed over to do the Dorvalinger Brigade and give them some guns just in case to make sure they were okay. Um, but I'll be honest here. They should not be alive. So we won the war. I mean, we you saw, we literally won the war. But yeah, I tabbed over to do the Dorvalinger Brigade. I gave them guns just in case because they, they were going to lose really fast. Like, they were going to lose really flipping fast. So as you can see over here, I gave them a few extra guns. So we'll see what happens. If it's not fair, then I don't care. But I was expecting them to, like, they're going to need extra help, right? So, here, have some guns. Here, have some other stuff. We actually have a little bit of anti-tank, finally. Oh, my goodness, but we have no motorized. Oh, boy. Oh, and also, we have... Ooh. Do you have anything attached? No, that's good. Good. Shield broken? As it should be. Nice. And we have no map too, which sucks, but whatever. All right, so since they're gone, reward the bandits. An open letter to our loyal allies in Orsk first. Uh, Torfim Lysenko, send my good wishes. After a review of my current basis upon which our alliance is built, I have determined that the further compensation for the soldiers and auxiliaries of the Dovanga Brigade is the only proper. I sincerely congratulate all the soldiers that have cooperated thus far, and I hope that this gesture will show my dedication to repaying you and maintaining our beneficial alliance. Best wishes, Torfim Lysenko. Hmm. We can do it, get some more army readiness. I don't know. There you go. 16%. There you go. Yay. You never know what Dovanga Brigade gonna do next. Pakistan becomes independent. Alright. Ooh, any more subjects? Ooh, 490. Deceived deprivation. Ooh, I like that one. And quite early in subjects. I think I read this one last time, so if you want to about this one, please go right ahead. But yes, very nice. Except from the experiment report 7.40.231. As part of an effort to study possible development of superior endurance and resilience qualities, a step towards the creation of the new socialist man, five subjects, one female and four males between blank and blank years of age, have been selected to undergo a pro artificially prolonged period of wake over the duration of blank weeks, two days, four hours, and approximately 17 ish minutos. The subjects were regularly in. 
intravenously injected with a mixture of stimulants, see addendum 1.1 for information, designed to render sleep impossible in place in a room for the, for the whole duration of the experiment, with checks on the status performed daily as the stimulants were injected. Procedure, possibly because they were promised freedom after the ex end of the experiments. The subject exhibited no particular discomfort during the first five days of observation, instead showing heightened awareness and responsiveness to stimuli, possibly a side effect of the stimulants. During the sixth day, all five subjects began to experience serious psychological and psychiatric symptoms, including severe paranoia, psychosis, and blank. The experiment continued for blank more days as the subject's symptoms gradually worsened before suddenly subsiding on the blank day, with the subjects appearing calm and mentally sound. As the experiment was about to be declared a success, two NKVD guards proceeded to open the locked doors of the room to let the researchers enter. At that moment, however, one of the subjects immediately blank, one of the security guards causing his instant death. Afterwards, the other guard blank, blah, 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 blank on the subject, blah, 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 blank, inflicted blah, 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 blank on the limbs and genital area. Ooh, possibly blank, 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 infinitum. Teeth now kept in storing unit 3, or 733, for further future study. As the subject fell on the ground, the others blank the researcher staff and the NKVD personnel, resulting in the deaths of blank researchers and the ex NKVD guards before blank, 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 were terminated. As noted, they displayed tr a lot of blanks, which in one case resulted in a ruptured blank. Ooh! A crew of non essential uh, subjects has been informed to clean the leftover blood and other strain behind from the area. Report 7.40.231 over. 51 subjects were rendered unrecoverable. I love the blanks. Ah, nice. 430. Oh, nice. Uh, shut up, reading. Oh, we want, we're going drugs. We're going to get them hit hard. Support weapons. Oh, yes, please. Big daddies, yes, please. Oh, oh, God. We have Samara here? Oh, no, 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 no. That is not nice. After that one, um, yeah, we have this one too. I'll acquire urban subjects. So, Community 51.ia. Subject material extraction protocol A troopers will extract subjects from urban centers in the vicinity of insert location. See subject extraction handbook for further information in the attached map of urban centers on page 10. Community 52.ia over. Yes, yes, I love the experiments. Very good. Uh, acquire banished subjects. We need Orsk, which is going to take some time to actually kill off Delvanga, but it was an honor. Excerpt from a transcript of meeting concerning the loyalty of Oscar Delvanga and his brigade, found in section 4, aisle 6, row 5. Director T.L. The loyalty of these men is blatantly fragile at best. We cannot trust them any further. Researcher G.O. While this is true, it is still currently. We're practically continue the alliance temporarily. If we further integrate ourselves in this pathetically weak command structure, we will be able to control them more easily and dismantle them with relative ease when the time comes. Director Torfim Lysenko. Then assume that they will listen to anyone in the command structure. And we wish to maintain our own safety and have any hope at defeating them. We must cut them off now. Lieutenant General SB, I urge you to at least reconsider your position. End of excerpt. It was an honor, my friends. It was an honor. Former friends. <gasps> 1,400 death subjects. Ooh. I love testing the druggies. <gasps> Chemical weapons? Ooh, yes. Yes. Kazakh National Group. Can we beat up the Kazakhs? At this point, we just gotta pop them out. We need that extra division right now. Manpower-wise, they're pretty close, but not quite there. Excerpts from Experiment Report 2.25.034. Objective. Create a viable specimen adapted to low-level oxygen conditions with an emphasis on survivability against chemical weapons. Subject 1, male, age 16. Ooh, a teenage boy? Hmm, I don't want to say it like that. Extracted from blank near Svetogorsk. Procedure. Subject's oxygen supply was reduced over the course of 10 hours at a rate of 7% per hour. Subject was initially calm after being placed in the testing chamber, though after two hours began to show signs of distress. This distress can likely be attributed to lack of human contact and anxiety stemming from confinement. After four hours, subject began to complain of lightheadedness and fatigue around six hour mark. Subject shifted repeatedly between consciousness and unconsciousness, and preparations were made for the second stage of the test. Subject fell unconscious after roughly blank hours, although blank was observed in the state, and did not resume consciousness until retrieved from a chamber. Afterwards, subject was exposed to an anomaly, lethal dose of phosphine gas, or phosphine gas. Subject reported symptoms in the line with based on exposure and subsequently expired 26 hours after exposure. Autopsy of the subject revealed the lungs to be filled with fluid in line with normal nominal exposure to phosphine gas. The result, experimental regime failed to create a specimen capable of surviving common chemical weaponry. Notify blank department of blank findings. Report 2.25.034 over. Excerpts from experiment report 2.14.075. 
as part of an effort to catalog and test drugs found by scavenging in old Soviet air hospitals. One female subject was selected, age 24. Oh, I love 24-year-old subjects. Uh, as a procedure, subject was administered drug through regular rations to ensure the avoidance of any possible effect. Subject was then removed from general environment and placed within a standard observation chamber. Subject was to be briefly interviewed three times, once 10 minutes after exposure, once 45 minutes after exposure, and once 2 hours after exposure. During these interviews, researchers were able uh, to assure subject that everything was fine and that their experiences were just in the head, just in their head, to avoid outside psychological factors. P further procedure upon conclusion was to be determined based on the effects of the drug. Result, the subject showed mild discontent and confusion during the first interview, though researcher Blank has determined this to be a standard human discomfort and not an effect of the drug. Between the first interview and the second interview, subject began constantly scratching its own body and complaining of an itch, as well as Blank. Subject was also visibly, though subtly, shaking. Subject described horrible itching and shadows in the corners of her vision in the second interview. Between the second and third interviews, the subject scratching intensified and at approximately one hour and 42 minutes the scratching turned to what researcher Blank described as tearing in Blank. Subject was profusely bleeding and had to be restrained and medicated before the third interview could be carried out. Subject was unable to answer direct directly answer questions, but it ran about shadows of my skin, inside of me, blank, inside of me, and repeatedly insisted that researchers get it out, while crying and breathing from intense pain. Experiment was then ended, and the subject was removed from testing chamber. Subject survived! It is now being reused for a separate experiment on the strengthening of skin after wounds, and all psychological effects of the drug appear to have been worn off. Work is currently being done identifying and replicating the drug used in the experiment for possible blank, including potential military applications. Report 2.14.075 over. 52%, huh? Ooh, 500 subjects. Childhood upbringing tests. Ooh, let's get psychologically destroyed right now. 52%, is that all you have? We are golden. And... Ooh. Oh, we need to be over here, okay. Yo, we're going to be fighting over a river? That sucks, bro. Excerpts from Experiment Report 5.10.002. Experimentation on Subject K, full name blank blank, was brought to a premature and end when it was determined that Subject K would see pro Project Proposal 30 for blank, and one of the researchers has become too attached to one another. Ooh. This was due to one of the extensive efforts to teach Subject K the Russian language. The efforts, while more than enough to teach an average child the first language, see sample as Subject A-F, proved to be an utter failure teaching a 13-year-old girl. Mental redotation has been ruled out, especially when Subject K was compared to Subjects H and J before. The aforementioned subject's involvement in the experiment was determined. See Addendum 1.3 for more details. The extreme isolation of Subject K from her birth led to the latching onto the scientist who attempted to teach her Russian, including the head of the linguistic component of the experiment. See Personal File Blank. The researcher would later be found to be attempting to smuggle Subject K from the facility after the decision was made to terminate Subject K's involvement due to a lack of progress and verbal social skills. See Incident Report 1076 for the escaped attempt and blanks for progress report on Subject K's blank. Subject K's involvement was brought to a premature end after this, and the subject was subsequently blank, as deemed to be no longer useful for further research. The researcher guilty of disrupting the experiment is currently in NKVD custody, and disciplinary action is pending. The remaining subjects of the experiment was thankfully not impacted by the incident. Report 5.10.002 over. <sighs> he fell for a 13-year-old girl. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. And turns testing, though. And like language deprivation. Thank God we have a lot of army XP. Oh, they paid the tribute. Darn it. Darn it. I wanted to beat them. Census. But we have some former Nazis to attend. So we have one, two, three, four. Hopefully only four tiles of guard. Transcript excerpt topic. The Greatest Sacrifice. Redacted. Comrade Lysenko, you requested a review of the conclusions for experiments on captured subjects of the previous six months? That is correct. What are your findings? I do not mean to bring any alarm, but... <clears throat> Upon reconsideration of what we've reclassified as inconclusive, it appears that if it is, there's a starting lack of occasions in which our hypotheses have been supported. Are you suggesting anything redacted? No, 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 not at all. This is all from our own files. Interesting. The thought that some readjustment of our physique enhancement program is needing or is needed has been lingering. How often have our experiments ended with fatalities? From my readings, no less than 60% of the sample. Oh, statistic noted. What if... No, it can't be. When Columbus proposed that the Earth was a globe, they mocked and jeered at the visionary. My ideas, my great theories, they may be seen the same now, but the centuries will pass, and they will become common biological knowledge. The most revolutionary of plans require not feeble compliance to the antiquated thought of the old, but the strongest of wills. Of course, the destiny of your scientific genius has truly arrived and began. Take this quote and frame it upon the walls of the laboratory. He is kind of handsome, almost a menacing handsome right there. Ooh. Accepts. 
from Experiment Report 14.11.204. As part of an experiment regarding a physical endurance and resistance to the disease of by phys physiognomy, uh, physiognomy and uh, I, I cannot pronounce these things, my apologies, and physical research testing department 5 female subjects of blank age were selected. Hopefully they were... Uh, Age of consent. Anyways, subjects were exposed to the following conditions, immersion in water at following extremes for blanket on end, alternating between these for 10 sets, 66 degrees Celsius, oh, followed by minus blank degrees Celsius. Following this, the subjects were introduced or induced to run 40 millimeter sprints in a closed environment and do jumping jacks in counts of five. They were then injected with tinnitus germs for two months later. The experiment was carried out again for the control group. No tinnitus was injected. Or tet tetanus. Rationale. Muscle contractions and spasms are known to the great source of strength. See attachment of, or see attached our medical group's research on the phenomenon of tet tetanus, cramps, and their possible utility in our own physical experience. It is theorized that if exposure to tetanus accompanies physical challenges, this will result in improvements to the physical capabilities of the subject due to a bacteria being introduced to cooperate with physical systems while retaining its own capabilities to enhance temporary physical strength. Results following the first experiment, two subjects died of complications traceable to hypothermia and or exposure to extreme temperature. Following injections of tetanus, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Remaining subjects followed predicted physiological behaviors associated with the early stage, as documented in research medical medical research journals retrieved from existing research corpus, i.e., involuntary muscle cramps, paralysis, choking, and so forth. Subjects B and E failed to complete the sprints on their second test due to the physical inability to walk, run. Subject D displayed limited mobility and collapsed on sprint set three. All were blank after medical examination and deemed them no longer useful. Report 14.11.204. Over. A breath of lucidity. Classified files, internal examination department, and psychological division. Research committee subdivision redacted. All subjects appears to be currently stable. Whether his condition could worsen is not yet entirely certain. Responses as demonstrated in the last 14 day period. Analysis and attached documents for reference. Juxtaposed against normal psychological emotional response chart. Demonstrate remarkable levels of relative sanity. No abnormal levels of the following behaviors were exhibited. Semi rational desires to demonstrate personal uh, uh, superiority based on research levels. Rapid and personally affecting responses to adherence to divinationist scientific doctrine, etc. Further observations will be permitted as per standard protocol within limited allowed limits. But the tentative conclusion is that Comrade Lysenko is as stable as they can possibly be. He is expected to perform within normal parameters regarding military reviews, strategic planning, scientific research, etc., without the risk of sudden collapse or lapse into psychologically chaotic behaviors. Please send this memorandum to NKBD sub department redacted for security purposes. For reference of possible redacted for security purposes, reassuring news. Ah, yes, high sanity. Except some experiment report 5.22.066 as oh, 100% as part of a series of experiments set to determine the inherent linguistic ability of an untrained human being for male and two female aged all 12 were selected all recovered from a maternity ward in the town of blank 12 years ago. Procedure. Subjects were removed from language-rich environment and placed in blank test environment less than one month after birth. Caretakers were instructed to make no attempt at communication with subjects or with each other while in test environment, including the use of all vocal and visual indicators as well as blank. Subjects were provided standard rations and conditions for their age in all other respects, including blank. This environment was to be maintained for an eight-year period des designed or designated Phase 1. Upon the conclusion of Phase 1, subjects' test environments were to be merged into a single environment and the subjects were introduced to one another. Subject C showed confusion, aggression, and irreparable blank. Subject E forcing both to be removed from the experiment. The remaining four showed curiosity and soon began to display affection for one another. Ah, oh, teenage teenagers. Experiment is currently four years into phase two with no sign of developing communication besides basic indicators as crying, laughter, and physical violence. Result inconclusive as of late. If phase two continues for four more years and no communication is developed, the experiment will be concluded and a final report logged. Possibly of uh, further research may be considered, otherwise subjects may be blank. Report 5.22.066 over. 57%. Oh, this is so high. But rabbit dogs must be put down. Community 22 uh, B from Comrade Lysenko's office has called for immediate elimination of the German Oscar Del Vanga and his brigade. Forces are to be immediately surrounded and disarmed uh, any disarm any of Del Vanga's forces they are embedded with and prepare for them for resource extraction. Del Vanga is to be taken alive if possible for experimentation purposes. Community ends. It was an honor. Attention all officers of the 22nd Motor Rifle Division NKVD. Due to the elimination of the hostile forces in the western mountainous region, see Opposition Analysis Document EuroLeague for further information. The common threat that prompted our cooperation with the bandits operating out of Omsk or Orsk. See op Oppositional Data Analysis Document. Devanga Brigade for the further information is no longer a factor. As such, all such cooperations be consist continued immediately. This concludes the distribution of war materials, assistance in combat operations, and sharing of information. As an additional me measure to ensure all cooperation is terminated, 
All members of the Twin Circuit Motor Rival Division and KVD are henceforth to refrain from engaging in any communication for, with any bandits associated with the Alvanga or his subordinates. This can be overruled for specific interactions sanctioned by a brigade commander or higher ranking officer has been concluded after extended observation that the southern bandits are to be are too undisciplined to be controlled and too unpredictable to be allowed to continue operating within the region. All divisions will be receiving new orders in the next four days to reposition along the frontier of the bandits' territory. This will provide additional defense against the bandits should they attempt to mount a surprise attack and will increase preparedness for the eventual elimination of Dobanga as an uncontrollable or uncontrolled factor within the region. Please ensure that your soldiers are at full combat preparedness in the coming weeks and transmission. The dead general has expanded use. Prepare the soldiers. On Man Outpost, a recent patrol that retrieved some lost subjects th traveled through one of our less use, less use access routes. Finding the checkpoint there completely unmanned. No foul play was observed. There was no signs of any struggles, and most of the doors had been locked. The assigned personnel simply vanished. After some inquiries to the NKVD, it was revealed that the troops assigned a location simply reassigned themselves. The NKVD is stonewalling further inquiries, and it seems that we will never know the, true, the identity of those men or their officers. This ordeal, however, has further highlighted the growing disloyalty in the NKVD, and we should act before the spy. I was, of course, out of control. Demand an example and arrange executions. Uh, arrange the formation of a new security force. Details follow. Arrange executions. We will not tolerate it. As we are running out of ways to lower disloyalty, except for stacking the bureaucracy. But other than that, we're going to need quite a few more guns as we are basically... Oh, well, hopefully we can do okay here. Um, no guarantees, of course. No guarantees. Uh, and if we can't do well, well then Kant's commands are the way forward, but the mountain holds firm. Agenda Item 14. Following the success of our efforts to remove all opposition from the region, has been advised that Comrade Lysenko to deliver an after-action report detailing her triumph in the combat. Topics to be addressed shall include the performance of our forces against the enemy, the performance of the enemy forces against her own, their overall effectiveness of our strategy, and what improvements could have been implemented. And most importantly, what objectives have been secured, acquisition of testing subjects, reserves, establishing stability within the region, successful testing of this military experiments during the conflict, etc. It has also been advised that the Comrade Lysenko read the report before a live audience, and his words be broadcast over radio transmitters to all who can hear. This publicity can be expected to markedly improve morale among the people of Magnitogorsk, Magnitogorsk and the surrounding region. Of course, oh, we gotta lower some stuff here first. Are they, they're moving around. We will try our best to skirt around some of these enemies and do okay. Uh, readiness is still pretty darn good, I'll be honest. Uh, we can do that too. We just gotta cut down on some of this disloyalty. Now, for us to succeed here, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. Or we'll do it very easily. Even though I gave him 4,000 extra guns, that's not too bad. Can you guys actually come in here too? Okay. Not bad. We o we overran them. You know what? Let that division move out first. Uh, can we actually go into here then? Okay then. That's all, that's still our division. Well, all right then. I gave him 4,000 extra guns, and we still did really well. Alright. That was a lot easier than I thought. The road we tread is ours. Agenda item 14 continue. Following the delivery of the assessment of this conflict, Lysenko should be sure to discuss the future of Magnitogorsk following its triumph over all obstructionist forces. Recommended talking points include a renewed commitment to important research topics such as guided evolution and genetic manipulation. A new, safer, more prosperous future for the inhabitants of the Southern Urals. A promise to rebuild the areas damaged by the fighting in a new, more efficient manner to further integration with Magnitogorsk. This list of objectives will give the people a more optimistic attitude towards their own futures, which is shown to have a direct correlation with increased productivity and compliance. Why not? Wow, that was the easiest I think I've ever had a war in TNO, maybe. Eh, yeah, mixed up for like Plains America, but whatever. Uh, the mountain stands firm, my friends. With morale stagnant and slightly faltering in the Black Mountain, Dr. Lysenko has decided to give the soldiers in our facility a needed speech about their greatness. During the start of the speech, he talks about the history of Magnitogorsk, how it began as a ruined coal factory, a facility in disarray. Mentions a lot about the history in particular and goes on for a while, which keeps the morale of the men slightly stagnant. He then abruptly talks about himself and others in a uh, division going through and rebuilding the facility with thousands of various metal materials, and mentioning the number of men the quote is made, while emphasizing the number of soldiers enough to help with the morale. Then, after briefly mentioning the history, it goes over the casualty report, heavily censored, to showcase a few losses the division suffered versus the other factions such as the Euro League, with a factual exaggerated report of the amount of casualties they suffered. He also mentions all the equipment they have that they, they make them the best, from the various up-to-date rifles, all dated but better than most other factions' rifles, to their explosives and their vehicles. Lysenko goes on and eventually talks about the defenses of the facility and how all the traps and various uh, nest nests can stop every attack from the enemy. At this point, the men barely gave any response to their officers next to him, but motivated them to clap with a gesture. 
He kept going on and on and mentioning special mentions of various individuals that surpassed produc production quotas and congratulating team members on the scientific team for their excellent work. The speech would then conclude with, You all have made bravely increased production quotas by, long pause as Comrade Lysenko looks to his papers, 14%. For this action, you're hereby commended. Moving on with business, the matter of the future is increasingly bright. The men in Magnitogorsk are hard as the iron within. Nice. I feel so good. Can we raid Omsk? No, 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 no. All alone. Stash report in the southern Ural region. Following the conclusion of hostilities and the assertion of our forces across the region, there has been a noted increase in efficiency across all sectors. Industrial production has steadily risen. Large numbers of testing subjects have been secured. And resistance to our authority has been reduced to almost nothing. All current data suggests that improvement and recovery shall continue for the foreseeable future, barring any unexpected... Uh, uh, interruptions. The elimination of hostile entities has led to a more closely integrated, peaceful, and streamlined region under the close guidance of Magnitogorsk and the Black Mountain. And of course, we can acquire banned subjects. Community key 52.ie. Subject material extraction protocol IE. Dot troops will extract subjects from Drobanger's Brigade located at Orenburg Oblast. See subject extraction handbook for further information attached to the map of the Orenburg Oblast, page 3. Community key 52.ie. Over. Nice. Yeah, that was ridiculously easy. How was it that easy? I even made sure that, like, he was using 18 combat with divisions. Like, when I did stuff off screen, I made sure that he had... He did okay. Like, he should have done okay, but... Response to critical developments continue. Continuation, Comrade Lysenko's speech. Uh, deliver from Central Complex, etc. Uh, comrade, I promise you heard in earlier speeches that the socialist future was not just a theoretical event, but a scientific probability. I will now proceed to give details on the various complexities of this probable future, as I'm officially releasing the report data gathered by the Committee on the Future. Summary of the Committee of the Future, located at Addendum 32.A4 through... Dot. 7, or 12 of I me. Mean. I myself have only recently declassified this committee and after the necess necessary purges. No staff deemed subjective in their outlooks. Editor's note. Refer to NKVD internal re records. Reference classified. I can now share with you my personal insights on the findings. The future will be organized along the lines of a new communist revolution that the Soviet Union charted out to insufficient parameters, and the new scientific thought built here in our own domestic research operation. It will be centralized and developed by the great five-year research projects, organized upon the models that we are currently using in our domestic research. Please refer to brochure pages 45-46 for details. Science of the socialist kind will be at last flourish on check, and none will stop it, for the deviators corrupting all research outside this facility will have to be terminated as threats to the scientific social model. Most importantly, however, uh, consider this. The future, this future, must be a necessary result of the production of a socialist military, aligned and indoctrinated along with their methods. Proposals on data regarding indoctrination per method organized in spreadsheets and addendums 46-48, and are sure that the bandits of Drobanger, the traitors of Orenburg, and the inconveniences of the Euro League, our enemies in dialectic and strategy will be terminated as one disposes of inadequate research. Comrade Lysenko provides promising projections. Response? Over. Exploitation of Acquired Areas Community Key 15.C from Comrade Lysenko's office has declared the beginning of a new program, or a program, of resource extraction in recently acquired areas. Industrial and security personnel should be prepared for sudden and binding relocation as Comrade Lysenko's demanded total efficiency in matters of extraction from these still dangerous areas. Community Key Over. We lose a lot of stability. Exploit the acquired areas. Ooh. Greatly increased sanity. And greatly increased... Ooh, disloyalty. That's not going to be good. Keep, keep lowering it then. Huh. <laughs> Neighbor stuff is done. Kazakh National Deuterinos, they have no... F uh oh. Uh, well, Samara and the WRF is killing each other, which is nice, but still. Ah, uh, who needed stability? As long as we have Dr. Lysenko helping us out. That's all that matters. Literally all that matters. Army readiness? No. It increases disloyalty. I don't like increasing disloyalty. It's already high enough as it is. What do we have here? Okay, well, they had quite a few guns. Of course, I guess I gave them 4,000 guns, so we got those guns. Motorized are... That does looking good. Anti-tank ain't too bad either. Yeah. Didn't want to use cons commands, but sometimes you're just forced to, right? Corrective uh, labor camp. Now, Samara or... Oh, Black League. Oh, God. Black League, leave us alone. Oh, God, leave us alone, Black League. Sakana wins Indonesian Civil War. Very, very nice. Oh, we can loot. <sighs> they got booties. We want to loot them. Yeah, that division, no. It's, it's too many combo with. Irish Republican Army steps down. Have the Irish finally stopped fighting each other? No. <laughs> no. That's a fat no. 34%? Yeah, we gotta make sure we get lower, 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 because we're gonna lose some stability here, definitely. Um, how are we doing over here? That's a lot of resistance. That's a lot of resistance. 60%? Holy crap. Uh, that's 61%. It's pretty much. Oh, if you want about better agriculture methods, please go ahead. For this bread, we think. Okay, goodbye then. <laughs> yeah, it just left us immediately. All right. Just like our wife? Oh, no. We're not married. We're not getting married. Uh, all alone. Now our true work can really begin. So how much I'll disorder that? Wow! 
Wow, that's a big old jump. Explore the acquired areas, my friends. By the time dawn lights the sky around Mount Yamatsu, Yamatao, the group of scientists, bureaucrats, and yes-men have finally finalized and sanctioned the plan. In hush whispers and hastily copied memos, it is distributed to regional commanders of the NKVD battalions and passed down to administrators, soldiers, civilians. And this is how it begins, a maximization of the pacified southern Euro regions. At 1.30 p.m., the following afternoons, all civilian men, women, and children are counted for in the town squares and villages. At 3 p.m., the executions of those deemed a threat to the NKVD will be wrapped up. The Black Mountain is nothing if not efficient, and the survivors are to be put to work disp disposing of their remains. A select few deemed worthy of preservation are transported to Lysenko for aid, and of course, in his experiments. The following weekend, NKVD guards track the resource extraction abilities of civilians and begin resource maximization experiments to be carried out at the local level. Those who are incapable of meeting resource quotas are disposed of, buried in mass graves. If experiments are successful in inducing improvement, officers are awarded promotion. Those who fail are deemed unworthy and replaced in a manner similar to the civilians. Human capital demands unique treatment. Every month, NKVD commissars and officers report to their superiors on the human population of the regions. Decisions are made based on agricultural mineral productivity, partisan activity, and physical phenotypes of the population quotas list numbers. Every half a year, the black trucks go out from Black Mountain. They circle and weave around the territories and leave them ever so slightly emptier. Then they re-enter Black Mountain. None of the cargo will ever be seen again. Take everything. We need it all. 75%. That's a that's a high number. I can I can add somewhat, and that's a high number. Oh boy. I still got plenty of guns, though. Which is nice. God, I just want to try to raid. We could try, but eh. Oh, let's do research facilities. We've not done that one yet, so that'll be good to do. And then, uh, once we're all alone, we're all alone. And that might be it for the campaign. Well, we'll see. Because there's no way in heck we're going to be able to beat either anyone here in Russia. I wish they were unified, but, you know, they ain't. Community key, A.A, .A, priority. Find attached reports on the status of Southern Ural region following pacification. Pacification of Southern Ural's success to have been a complete success. Little resistance is now faced during collection of expeditions. Operations expected to expand. Need for test subjects continues. Although population statistics continue to fire operational requirements, combat and collection personnel may be sent further outside of the region. Celebrating the successful pacification will be permitted until 2300 hours. Inform all relevant staff. The research will be recommenced tomorrow. Please find attached five subversive texts discussing our pacification of the region acquired for research purposes. Newspaper article. Collapse of authority in South Yo region unlikely to reduce quality quantity of attacks. Source. Subversive Western newspaper. Followed under propaganda. Intercepted documents. Report on catastrophic depopulation in Southern Euro region 1968-1964. Source. Captured Western agent. Subject 294404. Alive. Followed under research documents. Newspaper article. Horrific rumors emerge from the Southern Euro's refugees. Source. Subversive Russian newspaper. Filed under propaganda. Similar, small letter uh, address of father. Subject 865. Uh, deceased. Source. Unidentified child. Subject 76550. Live. Filed under propaganda. Intercepted missing persons re request. Appeal for information on Rachel Parsons. Reported missing while conducting charity work in the Euro region. Subject 204864. Deceased. Source. American Embassy in Finland. Filed under research documents. Communique, communique 8.a over. Is, is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Did you get a thing here saying it? Oh, it's over. Um, I don't know. But now we're all alone. I don't know how much effort. I, mean, I know they put a lot. The devs put a lot of effort in doing like each nation here that has unique focus tree. But like, I'm not sure if there's anything else here. It's pretty sane. But I. Th I think that might be it for us. I'm a little sad there's nothing like, oh, this is the end of the campaign for you here, but uh, I think that's going to be it, probably. No, yeah, we're not going to figure out. I think tomorrow's probably going to win here, but hey, I guess that's it. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great Magnitogorsk rest of your day.